I think we've seen a lot of improvement since since the Great Recession. Uh, unemployment is back where it was, employment and jobs are growing, wages are now growing for the first time, and they've in the last year they've grown across the board from, you know, people at the low end of the income distribution to people at the high end of the income distribution. So I think there's a, there's a lot to be pleased about um, with the labor market, especially relative to 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, I, also, I, there have been um, longer run changes to the labor market that have existed uh, long before the Great Recession that are troubling and um, you know in particular uh, uh, outsourcing cheaper overseas labor and um, computers IT technology have have replaced in a sense some kinds of workers and they have yet to find a large swath of these workers have yet to find you know exactly where they can be productive elsewhere when, let's say, their factory job is replaced by a machine or someone else in a, in a cheaper labor country. I have done some research recently that showed that actually these effects become exacerbated in recessions. And why do these effects become exacerbated in recessions? Well, recessions are sort of this, this cleansing period, and this goes back to Schumpeter, who's, who hypothesized that essentially when you have a big recession, the least productive things are just going to die off. The least productive firms, firms producing in the old, inefficient way, the recession is the time they're going to die off. Maybe they can survive when it's, as it's booming and everything is going great, but in the recession they're going to die off. That's going to pave the way for more productive, resource, more productive new firms to come in and gain these resources and produce in a different way. Even inside firms that survive, they may be slow to adopt new technologies. So the CVS would like to bring in self-scanner checkout machines that save them on labor costs, but that's gonna be a kind of costly thing to do and they may not wanna do that when people are coming in all the time and buying their products, they may not wanna deter people from doing that. So instead they might wait till a recession when demand for their products is already a little bit lower because people are worried, more worried about money in a recession. So it might make sense, it might be efficient for firms to wait until a recession to stop their production, bring in a new, more modern kind of production, um, and perhaps they have to lay off their workers anyway, so it's not so bad if they have to lay off workers who can't adapt to these new kinds of technologies and try to bring in more skilled workers. So it turns out that recessions might be a very good time to do all of this because you know you have to if you have to stop production for a while, that's okay because no one's buying your products in a recession. If you have to lay off workers, that's less bad because in a recession everybody sort of understands that you have to do that anyways. So for these reasons, adopting new technologies like IT, labor-saving machines, and deciding to do your production overseas might actually be concentrated in recessions. And so what this means for workers and for government policy is that so we certainly know that cheap overseas labor and machines are going to be replacing some kind of labor in the U.S. If this happens very gradually, it's fairly easy to think about gradually um, restructuring where people work, giving s small groups of people at a time the new skills they need to, to move into another sector. But if a large swath of the economy is losing their jobs all at once, and their skills becoming depreciated all at once in a recession because that's the time when a large number of firms are changing how they produce, um, then that's going to generate some really big problems. It's much more difficult to accommodate a large swath of the economy who had been working in these jobs, who have been rendered essentially obsolete all at once. And so government could help by focusing on um, you know, in addition to subsidizing unemployment while people in recessions, well, it's going to take longer for people to find jobs, they can help with retraining efforts and be cognizant of the fact that there's going to be much more structural change around recessions given that that's a time when firms might choose to adopt new technologies.